Welcome to today's video. Today's video is about working in groups and using them in your emails. It's a wonderful opportunity to get hold of the children that you want to communicate with. You can even set work where the learners will be able to activate and get to the work through the email section. And this is only a small part of Purple Mash. So I'd like you to explore this and try to see if you can start developing an interest in Purple Mash. When you're sending an email, you might want to use a group to send an email to. This group could be a remedial group, a soccer team, netball team, or any of the groupings that apply in a school situation. So I'm going to log in as a teacher so you can see how it would look from your point of view. In other words, a staff member or a teacher. So we're going to impersonate a teacher in this I go to staff member and I'll choose Mr. Mabai support teacher in the technology and I'm going to impersonate Mr. Mabale. I will not change anything. Now this is what it would look like for all teachers. Incidentally, happy workers day. I go to admin. It says create and manage users. Brian Evan Primary School. They're all listed over here. I won't show all of this because it would be some of them are giving off the passwords of the learners. So then what I do is I go to groups and I'm going to make a new group. Let's call this soccer team. I could give a description. My under nine soccer team. I know Mr. Mabale is an amazing soccer coach. And we look for the teachers that are going to be part of it. Now, let's say it's just Mr. Mabale, and we'll go with Mrs. Nyka are the two teachers doing the soccer. Then I would go select, and now we choose the pupils. And you've got all the children that are listed over here as grade sevens. We would have to open up. And I choose them and I would select them. So you've got a list of teachers, staff members, and you've got a list of children. This is incidentally just four random names, but we'd have the soccer team there as an indicator of a group. Now, I don't really want to save this group because it just means I'm adding extraneous and wasteful information into Purple Mash. So I'm just going to cancel that. And that's how you make a group. Now I'm going to return to Mr. Bradley, my own profile, and show you how to create an email for a group. You can even create a blog for a group. There's lots of different things you can do. Now your email is down here. Go to tools, and I'm going to scroll down to look for the email icon. And there it is. And you go to email. And I think mine automatically loads in teacher mode. You can see it says teacher mode. You could switch to pupil mode. It says compose. So I'm going to create an email. I'm going to search for the group. And I know if I go on that drop down arrow and I scroll down, you can see here's all the groups. Your group would be that you have just created would be shown. So I've created a group called the grade four group, which lists all the learners. I would then click on whoever is going to receive my email, add them as one would normally do. OK, and construct an email and send it to the individuals. Now, I don't really want to send an email because this is just showing you how it's done. You can create these groups for remedial groups. You can be very creative. There's ways of sending an email and linking that to the work in Purple Mesh. For instance, if I wanted to link to some work that I want the learner to do, I could say, go to this, go choose. And when the learner opens this attachment, it would take to a section of work. That could be some sort of remedial work. It could be some extension activity and some something like that. But can't you see the excitement of using this? It's tremendous. And if you find that in Purple Mesh you wanted to make a, a different activity, so I'm going to duplicate my email, my Purple Mesh, and then I'm just going to show you something else. 
and we'll get an activity. And what I'm going to do is make this activity and for a, a kid to do. So we'll go with, let's just choose something that I've already done, but you can construct your own. And let's just open some piece of work. I've got quite a bit of work in Purple Mash, as you would understand. And we're going into term two, let's see, systems mapping and biology. Here was something that I did last year. Just open the activity. And we know it's there. And then what I want to do is feed it into some sharing part. Send using email. So we can do that. And we can then send it that way. Another way of doing it is share. And you can get a link. If you look over here, here's a link. Highlight the link. So I just want to do that. And I'm going to copy it. And click OK. I haven't tried embedding in an email. I wonder if that's possible. And I go back to my email. Paste, Control V. If I send this, as you know, that the, that would open that piece of work. Let's take a few of these learners off. I'll just send it to Adam Daniels. Dear Adam, try this out. It's a test. And this is Adam Daniels. And we'll just send the email um, a test to try. And we'll just send that to Adam Daniels. He was a marvelous soccer player. One of my under 10 players, so he played really well last week against Buclu. He didn't play in today's match against Bryanston. So we're going to have a look now.